Okay, so today we're going to be learning how to quickly and easily do lip syncing for animation. Uh, however, the first thing you're going to need before you can animate anything is an audio clip to lip sync from. So if you don't know how to record your own voice, you can use Audacity. It's a free recording and editing program. Uh, and I have a video on how to download that for Mac right here on the left and how to download it for Windows right here on the right. And I will also put those video links in the description. So uh, once you have that, uh, let's head over there and start recording. All right, guys, so I'm over here in Audacity and I'm using a Blue Yeti microphone. So the first thing you want to do is select the microphone that you're going to use to record. So if I click it, the Yeti isn't showing up for me. And now this is a problem that a lot of you might have. And what causes it is I've plugged in my microphone after I've already opened the program. And for some reason, you just can't do it that way. You must plug in your microphone before opening the software. See, it's not showing up here. So this is actually a super simple fix. Uh, it, it just takes a few seconds. All you have to do is close out of the program and make sure you go down and hold on it and uh, force quit. And then go to open up Audacity. Now make sure at this point you go ahead and plug in your microphone now before opening it. So I plugged it in and I opened it and now you see it's it shows up. Yeti stereo microphone. So a lot of you might have that problem and that's how you fix it. Um, so now you go to your speakers and I just have my regular headphones plugged into my laptop. So I'm just going to use the built-in output. So as you can see, you can go ahead and click record. And now Audacity is recording everything I say. So I'm going to hit stop and go ahead and click the X on that because we don't need it. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and click record and record a segment for this animation. Where have you been? We thought you were dead. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and file and export. And I'm going to choose MP3 files. Now, some of you might not be able to do this. Um, you can choose MP3, but it might not let you export it. And if that is the case for you, you can actually go ahead and choose WAV format, the WAV 16-bit. It'll work just the same. I'm going to go ahead and choose MP3 for this and click Save. And go ahead and click OK. So now we have this recorded segment that we can import into Animate and start to do our lip sync. Okay, so now we're back in the Flash, and the first thing you're going to do is choose Action Script 3.0. If you're going to be using sound, uh, you have to choose Action Script 3.0. So now that we're in the document, uh, at this point you're obviously going to need a head with a mouth to lip sync on. So uh, you can just draw a funny little head shape here. Um, this is actually terrible. Um, just draw something goofy or, or whatever shape you want. Um, but I actually already have a little bit of a setup document. Um, so I'm going to switch to that real quick. And as you can see here, I just have on layer one, uh, this head shape for the monkey. And then you'll notice he doesn't have a mouth. We'll get that to that in a second, but layer two is this chart. And this is just a simple mouth chart. You can go into Google and find hundreds of these. You just type in animation mouth chart. Um, there's so many to choose from, from anything that's super simple, like stick figures to something super complicated. So you can just find whatever one you need on Google and you can drag it right in. Uh, but I'm going to create a new layer and we're going to name this mouth. And now we can go up and start to actually, I'm going to lock the head layer as well as the chart layer first, just so we don't mess anything up. Uh, now make sure on the first layer of the mouth layer, or first frame rather, and choose the brush tool. And we're going to go ahead and try to replicate this first A mouth in the chart here. So I'm going to draw this. It's going to be pretty bad, but just for the sake of the tutorial, it should be okay. So go ahead and draw the teeth now. And yeah, not bad. And then I'll give you the tongue. So, all right. Now I'm not going to go ahead and color this. First, what I'm going to do is select it and then right click and choose convert to symbol. And I'll go ahead and call this mouth as well. 
And as far as the type goes, you're going to want to choose graphic. So don't choose the movie clip, don't choose button, choose graphic and hit OK. Uh, and I'll get rid of this box here. And then you're going to want to double click on that symbol and you'll see everything starts to fade away. And the, the timeline is now inside the actual symbol. So from here, you're going to go to frame 2 and right click and insert another keyframe. and then you're going to draw the second mouse on the graph, so the O mouse on the graph. And I'm going to turn on onion skin for this, uh, just so I can make sure everything's sized correctly. So go ahead and choose the brush tool. Uh, we're going to choose this O shape, and you'll see it's actually an oval. So it's probably easier just to use the oval tool for this specific mouse. Um, I'm going to turn off the stroke, and yep. Not too bad. Now I'll draw the little swoop underneath for the chin. Uh, God, that's awful too. Let's try this one more time. Uh, okay, not too bad. Now it looks weird, but if you turn off the onion skin, you can see it actually isn't too bad. So I'll turn that back on and insert another keyframe. And so the rest of this is it's pretty much just go through insert a new keyframe and do the next mouse in the chart. So I'm going to speed through this and I will see you guys. So I've completely finished all the mouths. Um, it's only nine frames for this specific chart, so it wasn't too bad. But if you have a more complicated chart with more mouth pictures, then it might be take a little bit longer for you. But you'll see now that as I scroll through these, it's actually just looping through all of those frames over and over again. Um, so we don't want that. But first, what we're going to do is click the mouth symbol and Go up to Window and scroll down to Frame Picker, and we're going to click that. Now you can also get to this by going over here on the right in the Properties panel and clicking Use Frame Picker. Uh, now I have this saved over here in the panel, uh, but for most of you it's probably going to look like this once you click it. Uh, it's just going to be out in the open, so you can click Frame Picker, and when you see this blue line here, go ahead and let go, and boom, now it's dropped into your panels, and you can just get to it anytime you need it. So what this does is it actually allows us to select any frame that we want inside that symbol whenever we need it. So as soon as you need it for your lip sync, you can just click the frame instead of having to redraw it, uh, which is really nice. Now you see it's set to loop, which means as we scroll through, it's just going to loop through all of these frames and that isn't what we want so if you select it and go back to frame picker instead of loop you can choose single frame and now it's only going to move whenever we have a new keyframe so if I insert a new keyframe here and click the symbol and go to frame picker and choose a different mouth then now it will only switch to a different mouth shape once we have a new keyframe um, man, this mouth is so goofy but anyway so I'm going to go ahead and delete this keyframe. And now we are actually ready to put in the sound. Uh, but I think first, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and unlock these two layers here um, because I'm going to resize these. So let's move this up a bit and center it some because we don't need the graph anymore. Um, all right, so now we are actually ready to start adding in the sound. So to add the audio, we're going to create a new layer and I'm going to call it audio. And now go up to file and import and we're gonna import it to the library. Now, a lot of people have said they've had issues here where things are grayed out and they can't select anything. Uh, if that happens to you, an easy fix usually is to click options and make sure that this says all files. Um, Sometimes people have choose what's aug vorbis and it, it's weird, but it's 
do all files and you should be safe so you can choose if you have a WAV format if you couldn't do mp3 but mine was an mp3 so I'm gonna click that and hit open and now it is in your library and my library is right here but if you can't find library go to window and scroll down and choose library and it'll pop up for you um, so click the audio clip and most people will try to drag it to the layer but you actually have to drag it up into the screen and hit OK and you'll see it goes down into the layer uh, so I'm gonna drag out this last frame over until we see the end of the audio clip so keep going uh, that looks like it might be the end but I'm gonna keep going just to be sure uh, yeah it was the end so I'm gonna select these and go ahead and choose remove frames because I don't need those and I'm gonna move the rest of the frames on these layers out to match the audio layer and right click them and choose clear keyframes because I don't need that um, okay so now we have a clean slate to work with um, we don't have any looping frames but the first thing you'll probably notice is that when we scrub through the timeline you can't hear any of the audio which isn't really going to work if you can't hear it you can't lip sync, lip sync to it so choose any frame on the audio layer uh, click on it and then go up to sync and your properties panel and instead of event you want to choose stream now when you scroll through you can hear all of the audio so if you hit the enter key you can listen to it all together. Where have you been? We thought you were dead. Nice. So the very next step is to start actually lip syncing. So I'm going to start that now. And I'm not really going to listen to it too much. I'm just going to insert a keyframe where I can see that the first word starts on the audio layer. Uh, and I know that it's the first word starts with a W because it's aware of. Um, so... I'm going to choose the W sound and then E comes next because uh, it's where it's where have and it's the conjunction where of. So I'm just going to keep going through here. Um, like I said, I'm not really listening to it too much at this point because I already know most of the mouth shapes and I can visibly see where the word ends on the timeline. But for more complicated words or sentences obviously you would scroll through it a few times and listen to what it sounds like um, so that's where the b starts uh, so as you can see you have to scroll through sometimes to see what's coming next uh, oh at the bottom there it is b okay and then e comes next so again you're just in inserting a new keyframe choosing the next letter sound and you can keep the you can keep the chart up uh, on the screen if you still need it to choose between the letters but uh, okay I'm gonna choose the last sound here and let's scroll through and see exactly what this looks like where have you been nice okay so I'm gonna go ahead finish off the rest of these and I'll get back to you all right so I've finished off the rest of these I haven't heard it yet let's see where have you been? We thought you were dead. <laughs> okay, so not too bad. Uh, obviously, my mouth shapes aren't exactly perfect. Um, I was just sort of rushing through this for the tutorial, but uh, it is that easy. It's extremely simple. Um, it's not too hard to do it as long as you can draw the mouth shapes uh, or even reference off of a chart. Uh, you just draw whatever head shape you want for whatever character you're looking for and you go through the steps so uh i hope you enjoyed this uh don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you did like the video thanks for watching